This is part one of a series of videos I'll do on the mods to my Hobby King 1.5 meter V2 discus launch glider. I'm removing the elevator and rudder servos and I'll remove that servo tray as well. I'd like to uh, provide more access to the area behind the servo tray. It's very easy to remove. It's not well glued in. A little bit of wiggling and, and pushing out on the walls of the pod and it just broke away. The new servos are Diamond D47s which work quite well for elevator and rudder. I've been using them in the Versus for a couple of years. So using 3mm ply I'm making up an, another mount using the original mount as a guide for the width and the new servos as a guide for the cutout. Sanding it down to fit the pod nice and snugly. And to form the cutout I'm using a, a drill in the corners and then a little Dremel cutting disc uh, to cut out the shape. And just filing down to uh, make a nice snug fit for the servos. And they fit nice and tightly hardly even need to screw them in but I will anyway the original servos plus mount weighed 22 grams and this setup weighs 12 grams and I'm just using a five minute epoxy glue to fix it into the pod it's nice and thick and gap filling so it works very well Off with the push rods, I don't need them, I'm changing to a spring pull system which I think works really well. Now I'm going to strengthen the uh, wing retaining nuts, they tend to break away because they're not very well glued in so I'm just drilling holes down from the top through the pod and I'll put a little bit of um, five minute epoxy in there to strengthen the bond. And the other major weak spot is this boom to pod join. Um, so I'm laying down some finishing resin, some carbon ribbon or 12k carbon toe, a bit more resin on top to wet it out. And then just blot off all the excess to save a bit of weight. And there it is, it's never going to break.